So, can you imagine boarding a plane only to find all the seats facing away from you? You might think there might be some kind of mistake. But turning the seats around would actually be the best way to get passengers from A to B. Why? Well, let me tell you. Number 1. For the health of it Research shows that backward-facing airline seats are safer than forward-facing ones. They provide extra support for the head and torso. Plus, their larger size and heavier weight provide even more protection by lessening the impact when landing or in the case of an accident. The Society of Automotive Engineers, which creates safety standards in the automobile and aerospace industries, explains that forward-facing seats allow the torso to move forward. This doesn't harness the same kind of protection. Our backs are scientifically proven to withstand more shock than our chests and front. 2. It's like babies. Babies and toddlers are supposed to sit in rear-facing car seats until they're at least 2 years old. You ever wonder why that is? Because it's much safer. Statistics show that rear-facing seats reduce the risk of injury by more than 70%. This is the same argument for rear-facing airline seats. If an airplane has to come to a sudden stop, like when it's landing or, in the worst-case scenario, it crashes into something, the impact is far less intense on the passengers. Number 3. It saves space Airlines that have included backward-facing seats in their business class have been able to fit 80 more seats in the cabin. Travelers also benefited from an increased amount of space between seats overall, up to 15% with an added 4 inches of legroom. Whoa! A recent patent suggested an economy-class cabin hexagon with an alternating forward and backward-facing seats. A perk? The seats can easily be folded up. The downside? Eh, it looks pretty awkward for the person sitting in the middle. Plus, do they not have armrests? Oh, brother. Number 4. The views are great. In business class, it can be hard to catch glimpses of the plane's wings and engines since they're behind you. With rear-facing seats, you get to enjoy the view the entire time you fly. Or if you're willing to give up some legroom, you could just enjoy the same great view by flying coach. Just saying. Number 5. Sleeping is better. Airplanes are naturally angled up a degree or two when in flight. Seats that face backward can recline into fully flat beds. When facing this direction, your head will be just a tad bit higher than your feet. That certainly makes sleeping a lot safer and more comfortable. Number 6. It's fun! If you're someone who's flown your share of miles, try booking a flight on a rear-facing seat next time you travel. Not only will you be seen as cutting-edge, mm -hmm, you may feel like you're flying for the very first time. Number 7. Better amenities Flyers aboard planes like the Boeing 777-200 series claim that airlines sporting rear-facing seats also up the ante with their food, soaps, and lotions. If these seats are usually in business class, then that might not come as a surprise. So, with all these benefits, why don't all airlines have the option of rear-facing seats? Well, I never said they were ideal. For example, Number 1. Too much weight Because rear-facing seats are heavier than forward-facing ones, this adds weight to the plane. More weight to the aircraft means more fuel consumption, which usually translates into pricier tickets. The price per seat would be considerably higher, and probably not an option for economy flyers. 2. No privacy Some frequent flyers that have tried the backward-facing seats say that it's a little awkward when you ride facing other passengers. One woman had an interesting experience during mealtime. She sat in the last row of business facing coach. As you know, first and business classes get fed earlier, so she had to eat her meal while the economy passengers stared at her the entire time. With the current models being staggered with both rear and forward-facing seats, privacy can go out the window. Some airplanes include privacy doors, but it's not always an option for aisle passengers. 3. No personal space One passenger told a story about a long international flight with a variety of seats that converted into beds, either straightforward or backward. He had to wake up in the middle of the night and literally crawl over his neighbor to go use the restroom. 
He unintentionally woke the neighbor up each time. 4. It's too pricey. Don't expect airlines to suddenly have a change of heart and flip all their seats around. In fact, the practicalities of it wouldn't be just flipping what you already have. Completely replacing old seats and installing new rear-facing ones would cost a fortune. Most airlines are not ready, willing, or able to conduct complete overhauls on their aircraft. Passengers probably aren't ready either because… Number 5. It could make you sick. If you're someone who struggles with vertigo or nausea, I'm raising my hand here. These innovative and revolutionary seats may not be for you either. The shift your body experiences while taking off and landing facing the opposite end of the plane may be too much for your inner ear to handle. Such passengers have reported being sick and feeling queasy throughout the rest of their flight. It's mostly takeoff and landing that mess you up, though. You really can't feel the difference mid-flight like you would on a bus or a train. Although, just looking out the window and seeing the clouds move the other way can also be disorienting. Number 6. Sound interference It's a little more challenging to have quiet reading time while traveling when you have a group of people facing you and vice versa. Having different voices talking at once could make it more difficult to zone out one another or carry on a conversation with a fellow passenger. Or it might encourage people to strike up a conversation. That's great and all, but sometimes I just want to sleep. Sorry, neighbor. Number 7. Takeoffs could be uncomfortable. If back-facing seats are better for when the plane comes to a stop, then you're just reversing the problem. Normally, you have to fight your body's urge to jut forward when the brakes are applied. Now, that'll happen during takeoff, as your chest is pushed toward the back of the plane as it speeds down the runway. You'll have to push yourself back in your seat to fight the inertia. So, what's better? Discomfort during takeoff or landing? Looks like we just have to pick. Number 8. It's a heavy issue. Remember that rear-facing seats are heavier? Apparently, one airline was so concerned about fuel consumption that they specifically asked flight crew members to watch their weight. Well, seems to me like there should be less offensive ways to cut fuel costs and keeping the lighter front-facing seats could be a start. Number 9. People wouldn't want them Studies done on various forms of transportation show that most people choose forward-facing seats. Whether they're traveling by train, bus, or plane, it seems the position they're most familiar with is the one they feel comfortable choosing. Would they ever just get used to flying the other way around? We might never know! Number 10. Experiments are too much of a risk. Completely redoing seating arrangements on board would be risky and may not guarantee revenue. Southwest Airlines provided lounge seating for a season. It might have worked nicely when families wanted to sit together, but the same issues kept popping up. The airline reported that people either loved or couldn't stand the lounge seating arrangement. If you think all of this sounds bad, one airplane model had a stand-up patent a suggestion that flyers stand up while traveling to maximize space. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't make it past the idea stage. Hey, I wouldn't stand for that, would you? Don't worry though, there are plenty of things airlines do get right. Ever notice how most cabin interiors are blue? It's a calming color, specifically chosen to put travelers at ease, since flying causes anxiety for many. We can rest assured that airlines and aircraft engineers are always working to improve our travel experience and pack more of us into less space, but comfortably. Still, would you be willing to fly sitting backward or standing up? Let me know down below! And if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. Here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!